Yeah, you guys doing? Uh, you might say, like, wow, that's a lot of coke. No, I'm just kidding. That's, that's poison for the ticks. That's Debu. You guys have never seen that dog. That's a pit bull. And this is the 325i, 2003, that I was telling you guys about. Yeah, I'm a, it looks junkyarded up because, I mean, I haven't had the money to fix it. But inside, it's pretty, it's it's like, honestly, it's clean, bro. Honestly, honestly, it's, it's clean. This is nice. Um, before we start with, before we start with the, with the, under the hood, I just want to show you guys those marks right there. Yeah, that's from under the hood. Look at how hard it hit it from under. You know what I mean? That's it has one, two, and then like three or four. Could you get away, Doobie? Look, there's Doobie right here. There's Doobie right here chilling. But yeah, from on the bottom, the fan blades hit the hit the hood and bam, bam, bam. That's how hard. All right, so we're gonna open it up and then show you guys at the bottom of the hood. I just want to show you guys that first. Like, look at that, dude. Like. Wow, it's just, just crazy. And now we come to the engine. This is a 2003 325i normal, no winter business or sports package. It's just normal. Uh, let's start with the problem. Right here. As you can see, where's the blade that I had right now? Uh, I had a blade right now to show. Oh, here we go. So this blade these are the blades that go right here right they go bum 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 well they all broke off dude they all broke off and when they broke off they had trajectories all of them he's barking at me because he thinks i'm talking to myself <laughs> well i am right now right but right here this pipe right here is part of the cooling system if you can see like there's a slit right here like my nail fits in there it got it got it has like yeah it's a slit so it got messed up um coming right here and then well there you go right here bam it broke off hit the hit the expansion tank and then another one broke off hit the transmission oil cooler down there which is pretty expensive ah <sighs> and then this right here this last problem it ripped the ac unit the the wire i'm um, the cable well not a cable the pipe sorry so it, it would go like this right it would go like this but the thing hit it so hard that it, it it like hit this and then it ripped this instantly like it went fuck and it just cracked it was whole it was like this when i found it like when i when i came home it was just like that like all broken so the rip <sighs> i'm glad i didn't do nothing to a radiator really glad i didn't do nothing that would just be more more money but so far what i've been thinking about was just getting the coolage the cool um cooling system package number two which comes with the pipes just is one pipe right here one pipe right here is like another pipe down there it's gonna come with uh it's gonna come with a, a new pulley tensioners it's gonna it's gonna come with the belts uh there's two of them it's gonna come with the belts it's gonna come with the expansion tank it's not gonna come with that though it's gonna, it's gonna suck it's gonna come with some sensors so i'm gonna just get the cooling system package ah, but that's about it guys to not extend the video more that's about it so this is the auxiliary fan. This is what, you, what a lot of cars have. There's a fan clutch right there, and then this is the fan blade, the plastic part. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have to get the fan clutch uh, aftermarket because I don't want. I don't want this to ever happen again. Like honestly, this is this is insane, dude. Like boom, broke off. Hit that. Hit that. Like I don't want that to happen again. But that's about it. That's that's what's going on with this with this Beamer. It's gonna be like a little project car. What's gonna What's gonna happen is um, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna basically just spend like five hundred dollars, right? Five hundred dollars on the on the cooling system package, and then after that, I'm gonna just start buying piece by piece. Buy my girl car first, buy me a car so I could be right, like you know, working, and then buy a car to flip and just have this one as a project car. This car, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it out of here. I'm gonna take it to my to my shop that we're gonna start renting right here. So yeah, that's about it, guys. More videos coming soon, but I just want to show you guys the 325i 2003. You already know. I don't know why I keep repeating it. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. Okay, I want to show you guys this too. This is an OBD2 scanner. Mine is a Conway. I actually got this one off Wish for 60, I think 60, 70 dollars. But I think it was on special, so I got it like for 55, somewhere around there. 
uh, it's pretty economic there's some that go for like 200 even more some are less but this one I mean it does the work for me I've been using it ever since so for those that don't know a mechanic will usually run this and diagnose your car tell you what's wrong with it without looking into the engine or anything right plug this right here and then this will go to the car and then turn it'll turn on and then you'll just run the scan you know what I mean you'll just run the scan and tell you everything was wrong with it either air math um, math sensor or you know everything 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 so these are very handy to get if um, if you own a car and you just uh, you, you know some basic mechanic skills and also good to get so when your car starts messing up and when you go to a mechanic shop they won't you know try to F you up you know what I mean they won't try to make up prices or make up make up things that are that are not wrong with your car because they do that, I'm telling you guys. So, uh, it, I'm not the only one with this. My team has it right here at Mexicali. We run with these because we go to the auctions, right? We go to the auctions. We, we buy cars off the streets too. People that sell their cars. So, I'll just, I'll zip it up later on. But, yeah. Just want to show you. Oh, that light is very bright. But just want to show you guys that. So, you guys could, um, you know, if you guys ever um, have a problem with your car or anything like that, it's just good to buy one of those. For those reasons, you go to a mechanic shop, you already know what's wrong with it, you know what I mean? There might be other things wrong with it, but at least you know that that's the problem. Anything around that is the problem, not anything else, you know what I mean? So, that's about it.